poll shows a majority of South Carolinians would like to see casino money pay for road upgrades. Well, there are two different proposals working their way through the state house right now that involve gas tax increases and possible income tax cuts, but no mention of casinos. Now, Governor Nikki Haley is backing one of those plans, but according to a public policy poll released yesterday, 58% of people would like to see casinos in South Carolina to help generate money to fix roads. Now, 26%, as you saw, Say no way on this one. But according to state Democrats, now is the time to start talking about this. The problem is there has been long-standing opposition to casinos in South Carolina. Our Tara Pettit joins us in the newsroom now with more. Right now, South Carolina only has state-sponsored gambling, such as the lottery. Putting casinos in place would take a constitutional amendment. State Democrats would like to see that by 2016. They say the time is right and the money casinos would generate could solve South Carolina's road problems. Myrtle Beach could become the Vegas of the South. Myrtle Beach is one of the top tourist destinations in the country. Representative Todd Rutherford says it's time to tap into what could be an even bigger economic engine Red old baby. by building casinos. From those casinos, you're talking about licensing fees that are in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Millions that Rutherford says will stay in the pockets of taxpayers and pay for a road improvement plan that lawmakers are still trying to figure out. But whether taxpayers want to get in on the game remains to be seen. It's a bad idea for any purpose. Casinos bring nothing of social redeeming value. If it could help with the roads, I don't think it would be bad. Right now, there are two road improvement proposals being considered by state lawmakers. One backed by Governor Nikki Haley that would increase the gas tax by 10 cents, lower the state income tax, and restructure the DOT. A second proposal would lower the gas tax, give more money to counties to maintain state roads, and hit fuel wholesalers with a 6% tax. Gas tax increase as opposed to uh, putting in casinos is kind of a no-brainer. Let's have the gas tax increase. If you don't want your roads to fall apart, you should probably pitch in a little bit so that we can all keep driving on them. How the state's highways and byways get beefed up, though, remains to be seen. You're either going to raise taxes to pay for it, which is the Republican plan, or we're going to bring in new revenue through casinos, which is our plan. And Watch Fox News reached out to the governor's office for a comment on this proposal and how it stacks up to the one Governor Haley is pushing. However, we did not hear back from her office. Live in the studio, Tara Pettit, Watch Fox News.